Well, hello there, folks. Welcome to Jenna's Jamboree with me, Jenna Coburn. I also have some quirky Christmas facts. And if you saw on social media, I'm after your favourite Christmas cracker jokes. Here's one of mine. You would have saw it earlier. What athlete is the warmest in winter? A long jumper. Yep. Deary me. Classic Christmas cracker joke right there. Cheesy and yet Christmas wouldn't be complete without the Christmas cracker jokes. Send me your favourites by heading over to our Facebook page and commenting on the post or send us a message. (laughs) Right, so I've got my first Christmas fact for you guys. The festive favourite, Jingle Bells, was the first song played in space. It jingled all the way on the 16th of December 1965 during NASA's Gemini 6A space flight. Interesting. And here's another fun fact that dates back to 1974 when a KFC in Japan received a strange request for someone dressed as Santa and to deliver buckets of fried chicken to a nearby Christmas party. This became a hit and prompted KFC to launch its first Christmas campaign in 1974. Orders have been booked two months in advance and queues are stretched onto the streets. That is why, on Christmas Day, people in Japan eat KFC. Mmm. Anybody else in the mood for a wee bargain bucket to themselves? Nah, just me. (laughs) Right, so, let's have a look and see what Christmas cracker jokes have came in. I've got one here. I've actually got three, but I've got... What's this one? What is the best Christmas present in the world? A broken drum. You just can't beat it. That's so bad. <laughs> this was brilliant. What does the Queen call her Christmas broadcast? The one show. Oh, I don't know who writes this. <laughs> oh, look at this. Why is it getting harder to buy advent calendars? Because their days are numbered. Oh my god, these are super cheesy. I love it though. Keep them coming in. Alrighty, everyone. If you've just tuned in, you are listening to the Christmas Eve special of Jenna's Jamboree. Okay, so I've got a few more Christmas facts. A little bit of fun for Christmas Eve here. Right. We all know that the big man is real. No doubt about it. No question about it. But we have Coca-Cola to thank for Santa's plump and jolly appearance. They created the red-coated white beard image for an advertising campaign back in 1920s. Before that, Santa looked a little bit more elf-like and sinister. Ooh, creepy. The next fact is totally scandalous, but it is Christmas. Just remember that while I say this. We will scoff an average, on average, sorry, a mahoosive 6,000 calories on average. Christmas Day. That is around three times our normal daily amount. What's that? Yeah, I'll have another quality street. Not just pass the tin. Jeez, oh. <laughs> Folks, you're listening to Jenna's Jamboree. Right, I'm going to see if we've got any more jokes in. Any more cheesy Christmas cracker jokes. Okay, here we go. What's green covered in tinsel and goes ribbit, ribbit? Mistletoed. Oh, that's 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 terrible. <laughs> what do you get if you cross a bell with a skunk? Jingle smells. No, 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 no. And here's another one. What do you call an old snowman? Water. That is dark. That is horrific. That that's not even funny, but I can't I can't help but laugh at that. That's terrible. If you have, guys, if you have any cracking Christmas cracker jokes, there's still time to get them to me. Just head over to the Facebook page and comment on the post or send us a message. Okay, so I've got time just to squeeze three more jokes in. What's the most popular Christmas wine? I don't like Brussels sprouts. Brilliant. What carol is heard in the desert? (laughs) I can't even read it. Oh, Carol, ye faithful. <laughs> That's so bad. Oh, dear. And the last one. What did the stamp say to the Christmas card? Stick with me and we'll go places. <laughs> oh, no, I've 
hard enough. That's plenty. That is plenty. Oh, they may be really cringy, but Christmas Day isn't complete without crackers with the wee toys and stuff and the superb jokes that you get inside. Oh, thanks so much for joining me on Christmas Eve here at Radio Salter with either more of the same or maybe something different. Who knows, that's still a week away yet. Catch you next week. Bye!